Hi everyone, my name is Renee and I'm the branch manager here at the Montpelier Branch Library. <laughs> Welcome to the library, sort of. Um, and I wanna thank you for being a part of our library community, a very special part of our library community. As a matter of fact, don't tell anyone else this, but you are my favorite PRL person. Mm -hmm. you. Now what makes you so special, you might be thinking. Well, that's easy. It's because you are the only you. You're the only you that is, that was, or that ever will be. And when I look at your face, I think, what sights have those eyes seen? What are those brains thinking? What thoughts are crowded around in there? How is that person feeling? You are absolutely 1000% and exquisitely the only you that there is. You have your own experiences, your own thoughts, your own feelings, and your own stories to tell. And no one else has this combination of life stuff that makes you you. And so that's what makes you one of my favorite PRL people. And that's why I'm so excited that you're here today because we're talking about a project called PRL People. It's a shared journaling project that we're gonna work on together as a community in the library. And it's a fun way for you to share your unique you-ness with the rest of us and also to get to know some of the other people that are out there in our community. Um, specifically, we're talking about our experiences with the COVID pandemic. <laughs> Um, we've gone through this um, together as a community, um, but your experiences with COVID and your feelings about it are unique to you. And so that's what we're interested in, um, collecting your thoughts. So what is a PRL People Journal? Well, here's what they look like. That's our teen journal. And we have a version for kids, PRL Kids. Um, and it's just a little blank notebook. It's blank for now. Um, what would you do with that? Well, first of all, you pick one up at your local library branch. Doesn't have to be the Montpelier branch, although I would love to see you here. You can come to any branch of the Pamunkey Regional Library and ask for a PRL People Journal during the month of April. Um, once you get your journal, what do you do with it? Well, we have um, provided some prompts on the inside covers. You'll find these are prompts for kids and the teen journal is the same. A little bit different prompts, but it works the same. And you might be asking, what is a prompt? Well, a prompt is a little creative nudge, okay? It's something to get you thinking your thinks and to spark your creative juices. So um, if you, sometimes you're looking at a blank page and don't know what to do with it, then these prompts might help you. For example, we'd ask, List three changes that happened in your family during the pandemic. Or answer a question, the best and the worst parts of quarantine were. For me, the best part of quarantine was um, sitting in my easy chair with my beagle in my lap and my favorite book, um, fell asleep in the middle of the day. It was um, just a super duper sort of happy place for me. So that was the best part of quarantine. The worst part of quarantine was I have not hugged grandma in a year or so. Um, I get good at air hugs, but that's about all there is. Um, so look over the prompts that we provided and maybe some of them inspire you. Maybe they don't. Maybe you've got your own thoughts and that's great. Go with it. Um, you do you. Um, now, how do we want you to express yourself in these journals? Well, there's only one rule. Um, and it's always the rule at the library. Number one rule, um, tell your story with kindness, okay? Just tell your story with kindness. And I know you know how to do that. Um, that's all we ask. So how you tell your story, whether you use pictures or words or words and pictures mm -hmm. or um, somehow interpretive dance on the page, um, however you do it, it's up to you. Um, and you can put your name on your entry or you can leave it off um, however you're comfortable and we ask you to keep your entry to about three to five pages okay limit yourself a little bit um, and that gives us space in the journal to hear from other people but there is no limit to how many journals you can check out during the month of april so once you finish your entry if you've still got some things uh, clanking around your head there that you want to get out and onto paper, then come on back to the library. 
bring your journal back to any branch, doesn't have to be the one where you got it, um, and you get another one. And you can make an unlimited number of entries in our PRL People journals. So what's going to happen when we get all of these books filled up um, with all of your awesome stories and ideas and thoughts and drawings? Well, we hope to um, turn them into a digital record. Okay, we're going to turn them into electronic files that everybody in our library community can access and enjoy. Um, not just kids and teens, but also um, the old people too. So, um, so what you're doing here really is making history, which is pretty cool. You're writing the history of yourself and it becomes the history of our community um, and the history of, of kids and teens all throughout Virginia. So that's a really awesome and um, important project and, and, and an exciting way to bring you into um, our shared history. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to kick this off in April. April 1st, you guys, starting April 1st, just go to any library branch and ask for your PRL People Journal. Um, and we're going to be so excited to see what you put in there. And I want to thank you for being here at the library-ish today. Um, <laughs> I want to thank you for being always one of my favorite PRL people, um, for being someone just very special. And I want to remind you, if you ever have any questions at all, whether your question's about the PRL People Journals, or what's the next book in the Dogman series, or how do I write a bibliography without my teacher thinking I got it all off Wikipedia, um, any question that you have, you know what, a library person is a great uh, place to start and we um, love to answer your questions. We love to see you in the library. So either come on down to the library and see us, you give us a call, um, or you can even email us at ask at pamunkeylibrary.org. I bet that email address is right here somewhere. Okay, ask at pamunkeylibrary.org. We want to hear from you. All right, thank you so much. Thanks for being part of this and you have a great day.